Hey everyone, Techni here with a really fun one today. One that you guys have honestly been requesting for quite a while. And that is, what is the best $50 gaming headset? Now a couple quick points I want to cover real quick. Number one, why it took me so long to get to this video you guys have been requesting for a long time, right? Number one, if some of you have been with me for a while, you know I'm still pretty new to YouTube. I haven't even been doing YouTube for a year yet, right? So anyways, I wanted to get my uh, backlog of basic reviews kind of done first, get my hands on some $50 headsets and really test them and try them out. Not just go buy five $50 headsets and compare those, you know what I mean? I wanted to really compare a wide array of $50 headsets and then kind of pick my favorites out of there. Again, not just buy a handful of $50 headsets and say, oh, hey, which one's the best, you know? I really wanted to test them and pick them apart and pull which one ones I really liked and felt like were worth 50 bucks. And also as far as all these headsets we're going to be talking about right here, they can all be connected by 3.5. So you can use it on any device and I tested them on every device from Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox, PC, Mac, mobile, listening to music, whatever, I tested it on all of them. And again, every single headset can be used across any device. And also, as far as how this review is gonna go, again, we're gonna be going through our top five of $50 gaming headsets and I'll rank them lowest to highest, starting with number five, ending with number one, right? While I'm reviewing and talking about these headsets, showing some B-roll and close-ups and everything, I will be actually talking to you about the headset with the microphone on the headset, right? So anything you're hearing when we're talking about each headset is gonna be using that microphone on whichever headset we're talking about. And if you're new to the channel here, hey, go on and hit that subscribe button, wherever it is, somewhere on the bottom of the screen right here, because we review so many headsets. I mean, we reviewed headsets up into the $300 range, if not more, you know what I mean? But again, even down into the lower range. So make sure you subscribe, because we talk a lot of gaming stuff here, whether it be a PC, gaming console, gaming keyboards, mice, headsets, whatever, but make sure you subscribe to catch some of those as well. But anyways, right now, let's go on and get into the best $50 gaming headsets. All right, so kicking it off with number five right here, we have the Logitech G332. All right, so the Logitech G332 gaming headset right here. Again, we are using the mic on the headset. And first off, let's talk about comfort and the ear cushions on the G332 right here. Now, these ear cushions are big. You don't feel your ears touch the inside or anything. But the foam that they're using within these, it's a little bit firmer. I think to complete this headset right here, if the ear cushions were really soft and just like these soft uh, memory foam or soft cushions, I think it would be perfect. But the ear cushions are a little bit firm, not uncomfortable by any means. Definitely give them a little bit of time to break in and they'll be pretty much perfect right there. As far as clamping force, I'd probably put it right at a medium clamping force. Not too much, not too little. It definitely stays on your head really nice. But again, it kind of uh, complements right back into the ear cushions I wish they were a little bit softer no not uncomfortable just one thing that I wish as far as the headband same deal you know it's not uncomfortable but I wish it was a little bit softer plenty of padding right there give us some time to break in and you'll be good to go now let's go ahead and talk about the build of the G332 here the entire headset is plastic minus the little uh, bracket that you extended out to adjust your size right there but the plastic build on this headset it feels great. Very nice quality. It doesn't feel cheap by any mean. I mean, you can bend this, stretch it, and flex it and everything, and it feels pretty solid. Again, the plastic's a little bit thicker, so, you know, you kind of, you can't stretch it out too hard, but it does feel like a very, very nice quality headset, very nice build, and you feel like you really got your money's worth out of here. Next up, let's go and talk about soundstage on the 332 right here. It's pretty nice. It's really balanced soundstage. You don't got this overtaken bass or anything. It's not muddy or mid-heavy or anything. You have your highs. You really catch those footsteps and everything. I personally really like the sound stage of these uh, again maybe a little bit more bass would have been nice you know but it's not bad it's a real natural real quality sound stage and i really like it again you kind of really feel the sound right there and hear all the different details rather than one whether it be your highs or, or lows or mids overtaking anything sound stage across every device i really really liked it next up let's talk about this mic quality right here uh, not the best not the worst i think it really does the job it is flip up to mute by the way let me just show you this real quick i'm going to flip up the mic right here to mute it because we get a little bit of noise so anyways i'm going to flip it up and flip it down here So as you heard that right there, as me flipping it up and flipping it down, you kind of hear that little scrape or or whatever, little shuffle in the background or going up and down. So your buddies are going to hear you kind of muting your mic right there, which is kind of a stinker, you know what I mean? But uh, it is nice that it's flip up to mute. Uh, the mic is attached. Um, 
But again, you flip it up to Moot and you do get that little bit of sound back there. But as far as mic quality, I like it. Again, it sounds a little bit nasally in my opinion. Uh, I, you know, it doesn't pick up too much background noise or anything. But again, a little bit nasally in my opinion. But all in all, pretty good. And as far as a headset as a total... I think it's very good buy. And coming in at number four, we have the Razer Kraken X. All right, so now the Razer Kraken X gaming headset right here. And let's kick it off with comfort here. As far as comfort, the ear cushions are incredibly plush, very soft. I mean, super duper nice and comfortable. Um, but then we kind of get into the clamping force. It's, it's a little bit medium maybe a little bit more than a medium clamping force right there maybe it's just my big old head you know what i mean but it is a little bit tight but again the ear cushions kind of complement that and you don't feel it too bad on there i wish they were a little bit looser in my opinion but again we got to mark that as personal preference because maybe it's just my big old head you know what i mean but as far as the ear cushions and the headband and all very very soft and uh, comfortable again i wish that clamping force was a little bit less right there and the other thing as far as the kraken x the one thing i really really wish this headset had was some swivel within the ear cups you have plenty of move in and out on the ear cups right there but i wish it had some swivel because it's kind of stuck right there so i got to put a little bit forward on my head so i don't get that pressure point uh, right in the front right there as far as build the headset is 100 percent complete plastic and no that's not a bad thing it's actually a pretty good thing because the plastic feels durable it is a little bit thicker so whenever i stretch it out and twist it up I, I i don't know i get a little bit worried i don't want to you know budget too far but it does it feels quality it really does feel fantastic but the real nice thing about it being completely plastic right there is this this headset is incredibly lightweight so kind of again going back to that comfort put those two together right you got those soft ear cushions and everything in that lightweight if your head's maybe a little bit smaller than mine i guess i mean you're gonna have a perfect combo here really nice combo again if you can deal with the no swivel i love my headsets to have swivel in them so that's kind of why i gotta ding them off right there as far as sound stage these things sound fantastic across every device on pc you go on there as far as in the box you get a code to download Download the Razer 7.1 sound, um, and it sounds fantastic. Kind of compare it to like Windows Sonic or Dolby Atmos, you know, something like there. But it really brings this headset to life. It really makes it shine, and it sounds fantastic. Even without it, use it on a Switch or the PlayStation, Xbox, whatever. I mean, again, it sounds really nice. You get your lows, you get your highs. Very balanced. You actually uh, feel your lows sometimes. It's, it's a really nice sound stage. I honestly really like it. And then uh, closing it out here with this mic quality. Wow. This mic is fantastic. I don't know what you guys think about it, but holy smokes, I really like it. We don't have a windscreen on here or anything. I actually have a fan on above me, an AC unit out in my room and everything. And this uh, this mic is really, really nice, especially for a $50 gaming headset. So all in all, Razer Kraken X right here. A few things I got to mark as personal preference. You know, you kind of think about those. If you're okay with those, hey, you got a complete win right here. And again, at 50 bucks. Wow, what a winner. And now, coming in at a very solid, number three is Red Dragon Zeus. All right, so now for the Red Dragon Zeus gaming headset right here. And I really like this headset. For 50 bucks, I mean, this thing is awesome. So you're probably wondering, man, well, why the heck do you have it down here at number three, right? Because this headset really just shines the most on PC. And why I say that, as far as the USB little dongle you have right here, where you can adjust your volume, your mic, and all that stuff, or mute it, which is really nice, soft touch and everything feels very quality and i really really like the little dongle right there but only works on pc when i plug it into my playstation or xbox i can still get sound through it but i can't control through the dongle right there um, but anyways let's kick it off right here with comfort and these things are very comfortable the one stinker i gotta say again going back to the razor right there is i wish this headset had some swivel in it you have plenty of movement in the ear cups right there but no swivel which is just a stinker because again for me i get the little pressure point right up here on the jawline right but the ear cushions incredibly soft very very soft and plush the headset's actually a lot lighter than it looks very light plenty of padding on the uh, headband as well clamping force isn't too heavy again as far as comfort if you can deal with no swivel you have a complete winner right here in comfort i mean this thing is incredibly comfortable like very now as far as build right here pretty solid build you have the metal bracket right there but it does go into uh in the headband right there you have the plastic piece right there and then the brackets on the side of the ear cup are plastic as well so kind of be careful when you set them down you know yeah it's showing that metal right there but that metal bracket again is being supported by two plastic pieces on each end so just be a little bit careful with them but i think the build's pretty solid i can flex them and bend them and everything and i really don't worry about them they feel definitely uh pretty solid right they're really nice that the 3.5 is detachable on this headset and every cable with 
with this is a very thick braided cable as well. The mic's also detachable and everything. Really, really nice build on this guy here. As far as soundstage, again, wow. I love it. Very nice sound stage. Bring it on PC, plug it into that USB as well. Going to pump a little more power into them, and they sound incredibly awesome. But again, I really, really like this. Played a lot of Forza on Xbox with this. And the sound stage, again, talking about a $50 headset right here, this one really took me by surprise as far as everything. The comfort, the build, the sound stage, and again, the mic that we're using right here. Maybe one of the best I have used. Again, all this compiled into a $50 headset. Wow, if you're on PC pick these up. You'll thank me later. They are awesome. But again, that's why I got to put them at number three because they're really an amazing headset for PC. When you get into console, we lose a lot of those features and everything, which kind of turns into a little bit of a bummer right there. But anyways, that's the Red Dragon Zeus right there. Awesome $50 gaming headset. And now coming in at number two is the SteelSeries Arctis Ones. All right. So now as far as the Arctis One headset i'm trying to say arctis instead of arctis everyone always gets on me i reviewed all these headsets and i still call them arctis arctics we're gonna call arctis i'm gonna try very hard throughout this uh, review right here but anyways arctics one let's kick it off with comfort right here and let me tell you what along with every other arctis headset they are incredibly cozy. These ear cushions are hands down probably some of the best you'll find on any headset right here. It's using that real sports material right there. Very soft, very breathable. Inside of the ear cup right there, you actually have a little lining of pleather right there. It kind of locks in that sound. Really, really nice. Very soft, very plush. As far as the headband, plenty of padding up there as well. Now, with this headset right here, the Artist One, kind of comparing to some of the other Artist headsets right there, these ones have a little bit more clamping force than the other ones. This not a little bit less than medium but not very light clamping force if that makes any sense right there right it's pretty comfortable it, it really is i can wear these for a long time and they don't really bother me but again just comparing it to some of the other lines of steel series headsets these do clamp a little bit tighter than those if you've ever felt those for uh before as well but very very comfortable the, the ear cushions and everything very breathable very very nice as far as comfort i really really like them now as far as build the majority of this headset is plastic minus a little uh extended part whenever you adjust them right there you have that metal support inside there uh, very lightweight but they feel very durable they really do as far as them being completely plastic right there now when i pull them apart stretch them and twist them up and everything i get a little worried because the plastic's pretty thick on these guys right it's not real thin and very flexible again it doesn't feel cheap it feels very durable and everything but i do get a little worried when i pull them apart and everything i don't want to go too far kind of uh, fear of snapping them because again that plastic's pretty firm uh, not incredibly flexible but you have plenty of bend and give within them so as far as build i give them a pass just kind of you know again just kind of be a little bit uh cautious on them because again they feel quite stiff in there not very uh flexible but durable uh for sure now as far as sound stage on these things very very great really awesome sound stage right here you have everything you have bass you actually feel the bass sometimes your highs are very potent and everything the sound stage is awesome on these things across every single device really really nice balanced sound stage here i love the sound stage on these guys now as far as the mic quality on the steel series headset and this goes along with pretty much all the other steel series headsets we have reviewed it's not the best it's not the worst i kind of recommend you maybe get a windscreen pop it on this guy it'll kind of balance it out and bring it down a little bit but right now it's a little bit high pitched, a little nasally sounding, you know. But again, I really think that windscreen are kind of bouncing. Heck, you can get a windscreen for like 50 cents, 25 cents, something like that, you know what I mean? But all in all, I give the Arctic One a very, very high rating. Put it up there at number two. I love this headset. I really do. I know a lot of you is out there think I'm a Steel Series fanboy, and I would have put this at number one. But unfortunately, it's got to be at number two. All right. So I know a lot of people out there probably thought I was going to pick Steel Series as their winner, right? Which, again, all of these headsets are fantastic across the board. And I love those Arctic One, right? But the next one right here, the number one $50 gaming headset is just a complete package. And I really love it. And that is the HyperX Stingers. All right, so the winner here, the HyperX Cloud Stingers. And let me tell you what, I love this headset. Right now, it's actually under 50 bucks. I think you can scoop this up for right around 40 bucks. Not bad at all. But anyways, let's kick it off with this comfort right here. And the thing I love about this headset, it just kind of combines everything. The ear cushions are very soft, very comfortable, plenty of cushion on the top. The entire headset, I'm kind of bleeding in comfort and build here, right? But the entire headset is plastic, yes, minus the uh, extender part right there. But it's very lightweight it really doesn't bother you don't really feel it pressing anywhere on your head right here you have plenty of flex within the uh ear cushions right here they swivel in and out right there 
I really, really love the comfort of the things. Not too much uh, clamping force. It's kind of right in the middle. I don't even say it's in the middle. A little bit less right there. It's very soft. It stays on your head, but it doesn't move around right there, you know? And again, as far as the cushion, everything just complements this headset perfectly. From the lightweight to the padding and everything to the very mild clamping force, but it stays on your head. Very, very nice combination. Again, going to that build right there with it being completely plastic and everything, but it feels incredibly durable. I can really pull this out, twist it up and I really don't worry about that. It kind of complements again back into the swivel ear cups right there because you're not really getting one pressure point right here. It is all plastic but again it feels very durable and very quality plastic right there. Now we get into that sound stage. Now the sound stage is just so natural and it's just a very crisp sound stage. Again you have your bass, you have your highs and your mids but everything's just right there. I think the highs are a little bit more potent than the bass in this headset but me personally I prefer highs over really drowning bass. Base. This headset really picks up a lot of nice footsteps or anything. The environment around you, if you're in your game, I play a lot of Battlefield, you know, and I just get really sucked into the environment that I game, whether it be the uniform shuffling around or the trees shuffling over here or the reload another weapon and then bam, this big grenade or this tank's coming by or a plane whooshing over your head. It sounds really awesome. And again, it just really gives every single uh, piece of the sound, whether it be your highs, lows, or mids, its own really uh, part right there rather than something else taking over it. Really, really awesome sound stage here. Now as far as my quality, I love this mic quality. I really do. Now, one thing about this mic, I do got to put it a little bit closer to my mouth than some of the other headsets. Some of the other headsets, I can keep it pretty far. This one, I got to bring a little bit closer right there. So that may be a little bit of a downfall. It's not bad by any means. It's not inside my mouth or anything, you know. But the cool thing about it, why I think this mic quality is so good, inside of this little mic boom right here, which is attached to the headset. It's also flip up to mute, but there's almost like a little windscreen kind of built with into the microphone right there. I can see some cloth or some fabric right uh, underneath the plastic right there. And I really think it just kind of bounces out there. And it sounds very natural, almost like you're on a, a, a phone call. Like a, I use an iPhone. It sounds just like that. And it just sounds awesome. Now the mic is flip up to mute and you do get a little click whenever you mute it. So let me flip it up right here and let you kind of hear this. So as you notice right there, whenever I flipped it up, you kind of heard that click as far as a mute. So yeah, people are going to hear you muting it right there. Kind of wish there was a button on the back. But as far as the mic, I mean, wow, it is awesome. One other thing I forgot to mention right here, as far as the uh, slide wheel on the back of the headset for your volume rocker right there, that's one other thing that I kind of wish was different on this headset. It's not a deal breaker or anything horrible by any means. Probably just me being picky. I wish it was a wheel rather than that slide knob right there because I can't, it's just hard to really get that precise volume that you want right there. But all in all, how Hyperx Cloud Stingers, wow, awesome. Right now, under 50 bucks, coming in right around some 40 and some change. You can't go wrong. All right, so that's our top five best $50 gaming headsets right here. Which one did you pick as far as your favorite? Do you use any of these, and what do you think about them? Again, I'm not saying that number five is a piece of trash by any means. All these are fantastic. Again, my favorite is the HyperX Stinger, hands down. I think it covers everything from mic to build to comfort and all that, you know, but we have some fantastic headsets across the board. But hey, let me know down in the comments if you use one of these headsets or if you picked one of them out and what you think about it. But hey, I hope this video was able to help you out a little bit. I really do. Sorry it was a little bit long. I just, again, wanted to kind of cover everything right here, and I hope I was able to help you out a little bit here. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up, and please do subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.